What? What are you doing, man? Hold on. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. All uh, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where's Mickey? <laughs> Where's Durko? Where's Durko when you need him? Is he fashionably late? Fashionably late, like always. He's just going to come in? You know, I mean, he might come in like 30 minutes late. He might come in like 45 minutes late. Who knows? Who knows when Durko is going to show up? I got that fresh Fort Knox haircut. So what's up, man? Long time, dude. Yeah, what's going on? Hey, man, listen, man. I'm just in the middle of school. Just trying to get promoted. Everything's good? Everything's good. I miss the family. I'm a little bit homesick, but it is what it is. That's what's up. That's good stuff, man. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing good, man. Maintaining. Maintaining and sustaining? Yeah. You know, staying busy. Got some new tracks out, man. You got some new tracks out. Links in the description below. Got some new tracks out. Yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah, check it out. Ring that bell. Ring that bell. <laughs> so you, uh, what's your SoundCloud? What's my SoundCloud? Yeah. Techfall211. And then I got a one other Zombie Squad. Zombie Squad 211. Zombie Squad 211, man. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, new tracks, man. New tracks. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm here in uh, Kentucky. Kentucky. I'm over here at the, uh, I'm over here at the, the Gold Vault. All the, all the gold's behind here at Fort Knox, man. Man, it looks like you're in prison, man. <laughs> I'm running the prison. <laughs> Got guys shooting the podcast from a cell. <laughs> you, you still got, you still got to, you still got to promote that brand, whether I'm in jail or not. <laughs> <laughs> that zombie squad cast. Entrepreneurs never stop, man. If you're in jail or not. Mm. Yeah, man. Entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs. What's the, what there's a new thing now, man. What's the fuck? Uh solopreneur solopreneur. It's all ridiculous, man. There's a whole new phrase out there, solopreneur. It's a, it's, a, it's a scheme, man. <laughs> It's all branding, dude. That's all it is. It's all branding. Folks want to fucking. They want to. They, they want to have that label. Well, you remember, like five years ago, ten years ago, people on Instagram would call uh, uh, on uh, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, whatever. They would call themselves public figures. Yeah. A public figure. And now, some somehow, entrepreneur became like the new old term. It's a. Entrepreneur is an old fucking term, but now all of a sudden everyone's a fucking entrepreneur. Everybody like anybody selling beach body or fucking, you know, uh, 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 neutral light or what's the other one? Um, what Ex excess. No, no. <laughs> what's, what, what's that protein shake? It was, um, what's that protein shake, which is a fucking, a multi-level marketing opportunity. Oh, oh Herbalife. Man, that... Herbalife. Yeah, yeah, that's I right. Sell Herbalife. I'm an entrepreneur. I sell herbal. Uh, I, I'm a Herbalife ambassador. I'm an entrepreneur. Yeah, ambassador is a good one that people use. I'm an ambassador. It was public figure. It was public figure. Ambassador. Ambassador, not ambassador, but ambassador. And then, um, and now it's like entrepreneur again. People are trying to like, I'm like, dude, what do you do? Well, you know. Whoa! 
oh, I, I do this. I, 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 well, well, what I really, you know what, what, what I really do. <laughs> In wrestling news, have you been keeping up with your boy Orange Cassidy? No, I've not been keeping up with wrestling, man. I need to start keeping Orange up with Cassidy's wrestling. Orange about to take the TNT championship from Cody Rhodes. Wow. I think he's when's, it, when's that going down? Wednesday, I think. Wednesday. Oh, no. So that's, that's tonight. What are the fucking results? <laughs> I was staying up all night fucking waiting around for you schmucks to jump online. Well, you're going to wait till midnight for Durko. Yeah, so, uh, you know, roll time's midnight. Uh, left. Uh, the guys, I don't know, are they on a different time frame over in uh, Canada? No, they're on fucking EST. <laughs> every, every spot that they're at, dude, they're on EST. He wants to be a Canuck. He wants to be a Canuck. <laughs> It's like, dude, I'm like 45 minutes. I'm in Jersey. I'm in New York. I'm in upstate New York. I'm in, I'm in Canada. <laughs> the guy spent decades trying to get away from, uh, from bailing. From bailing out. Bailing out. Our boy bailing out. Durko was spending years trying to get away from him. Bailing. And he ends up right back in Jersey. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll wait for him to join on so we can, like, you know. Yeah, I want to get, like, the whole scoop of, like, like, how, that, how did the borderline of Canada come about? First off, I've never, ever experienced a fucking election in my life. That has taken this fucking long. Yeah, you're gonna have to wait another week. What a shit show. At least another 24 hours. No shit, man. No shit. We're we're still waiting on five different states, according according to Google, according to Google Live election results. We're waiting on five different states at the moment. Uh, now, so I'll cut this out if you don't want to talk about it, but, uh, who'd you vote for, if you don't mind me asking? No, I didn't vote. You didn't vote. <laughs> well, then, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was sleeping in, dog. I worked at 24 the night before, man. I, I, I ain't got time for that shit. I'm over here working. 124, three days off? vote my ass <laughs> I don't even have time to check my own mail for the fucking mail in ballot I didn't even know about this podcast coming up tonight <laughs> I texted you today about it round table who's available <laughs> I'm available I'm available alright I know of course you know you're the one that fucking shows up like on fucking time no well we don't know where Durko is He's somewhere in Canada. British Columbia. <laughs> Ontario. I'm like, are you, sh are you sure you're allowed over there? You have a passport? Nah, bro, nah, I ain't got no passport, man. <laughs> He's just gonna wing it. I, 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 made, I, I, just, I, just, I just drove up to the fucking gate and talked to the guy. <laughs> Oh, it works like that. Okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, I voted for change. Let me put it that way. I'll, I voted for change. I'm gonna. I'm. I wait until see the final results, and then I'll maybe brag or maybe just not say anything. Just gonna stay silent. <laughs> to an extent. What I will say right now, what I will say right now is I voted for a change. Yeah. So what's new on the music tip? So who's this, uh, who's this potential guest that we might have on Zion the Squad without me because I am currently, uh, how do you say it? 
<laughs> Indisposed. Indisposed. <laughs> uh, his name is Scott Wharton. Uh, he's a local comedian in Fredericksburg, so he's very proactive in in the comedian realm of Fredericksburg in the area. He does a lot of uh, he does a lot of promotions. He does a lot of like. Um, open mic gigs. He also uh, he does a podcast as well um, with some other people. Like he he does a lot of events in the area. So that's how I met him. I met him through a mo an open mic that he was hosting. So he let me on stage for about five or ten minutes, and then we just kind of talked. Then he was doing another event in Fredericksburg on Saturday. For Halloween, so they were doing a a dubstep show in Fredericksburg, mm -hmm. like with some local artists and DJs and producers. So he was like kind of he he was the MC for the night for that show. So shot over there, talked to him for a little bit, see if he was interested in being on Zombie Squadcast, and he was like totally like all about it. You know, so I just got to get up with him and set up a time so we can get on the show. I wanted to to bring him live in here through Zoom and like me and him interacting on two microphones. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that could. I don't, you don't need Zoom for that. You need one camera. Two shot. Screen right here. Screen right here and the two shot. Man. Like, so, like, like, we, like, like we did, like we did, uh, what was it, the episode one of Technological, you and you and I were sitting in the fucking studio at, uh, in Bethesda. Yeah. And yeah, things progress. But I think it would work out. I think it would work out better if we keep it with the Zoom. It's a lot, uh, a bit more convenient. Yeah, it's, it's more convenient and the technological aspect of it is, it's easier to operate on Zooms from what you showed me, mm -hmm. you know, to do the podcast and, you know, you don't have to worry about all the technicalities of setting up different cameras and and getting the audio straight and, and this, that, and the third. So maybe we'll just stick with the whole Zoom and then maybe later on try with the two-camera radio show you yeah. know see so see how that works out like for right now dude i mean it, again it's quarantine and stick with zoom stick with our general setup i mean you can do it only through zoom i i have a bigger setup over at the home base um but remotely i'm doing this just through zoom yeah and uh yeah man i mean it's 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 simple simple setup it's it's way more convenient way more covid compliant so. But but I'm excited to have him on the show. He's a very entertaining guy, um, very funny. Like so, a couple of things I wanted to talk about is is like how like I know how you go off on some of the movies. Um, like well, oh, like 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 like, like, like I'm, name, about, I'm always talking. Yeah, like you like, like 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 name three different movies that you've been watching during the quarantine. So my thing is. Like name three comedians or stand up uh, comedy specials that that you've seen on on Netflix or, or whatever, and so yeah. But I mean, and there's a lot again. And, I mean, like you have to stick within the realm. You know, I'm more film, TV, acting, but you're more. You're more acting, comedian, music, rapping. Yeah, you know. Durko's more, you know, entrepreneurial, finance, music, acting. So, you know, like, <laughs> at the end of the day, like, talk about whatever you want to talk about. I mean, seriously, I, if, if you want to stick within the realm of my six, my six, like, I have, I have, like, these general points that I want to touch upon. Mm hmm but you can expand upon that. I mean, I've had guests on and we went very political. We went very social issues, race, gender, uh, orientation, um, you know, social class issues. 
And then I had guests that we just pontificated for an, an hour about Battlestar Galactica. You know what I mean? It's just, just have fun with it, dude. I mean, that's, it's all about just talking about talking to people. I mean, every round table is just you, me and Durko or uh, fucking every round table is me, you and Durko. Dude, dude, every, every round table, Durko is in like another state, bro. <laughs> But again, but, but but again, it's the three of us, and 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 I've known you since high school. I've known Durko since college, and we're learning something new about each other every minute, every hour, every day, every week, month, and year. And we discuss it on the show. Like I've been gone for two fucking weeks, plus quarantine. I'm sure there's been 15 different fucking things that happened to you that I don't know about, and hopefully we discuss. There's been 15 different fucking things about me. And so I'm glad we mentioned that. So, 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 you know, like that's the formula for Zombie Squadcast. Have at it. You know the six points. There's your kind of guidance. But veer off if you want. I don't give a fuck. But speaking of Fredericksburg, so I'm in, uh, so I'm, uh, I'm currently in ALC, which is based for, long story short, staff sergeant school. We yeah, have, we have to do a number of things. We have to teach like an hour and a half class. We have to do a five minute briefing. We have to write an essay. We have to put together you know, op orders. We have to uh, conduct a PT test, lead a PT test, uh, this, that, and the other thing. So we were given a number of options. We couldn't choose on our own. We were thrown a list of options for this five minute briefing. And I saw on there, the Battle of Fredericksburg, Virginia, and I fucking jumped on that and signed it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I so I did the briefing. And uh, did you know during the Battle of Fredericksburg, eighteen sixty two, it was pretty much it was it was it was it was described to President Lincoln as a butchery. It w- took place December eleventh to December fifteenth, eighteen sixty two. And on, on the night of December 14th, the Northern Lights were visible during the Battle of Fredericksburg. No, I did not know that. You no, know the Northern Lights, the Aurora, yeah. the Aurora Borealis, were yeah. visible, you know, presumed to have been from, you know, like, a, like a, a solar flare, because it's unusual for the Northern Lights to be visible from that latitude, uh, uh, Northern Virginia. But, um, and I think Fredericksburg still is Northern Virginia, but um, it is. But the Northern Lights were visible and it was a rosy glow of the Northern Lights. So it's a rosy red glow, blood, battle, bloodshed. And so quite the unique five, yeah, quite the unique five days. It was, it, it, and and to to say the least, it was a, a one-sided loss to the Union. Mm-hmm. Um, Richard Kirkland was a Confederate soldier who was so appalled by the uh, by the Union wounded, the cries for help and stuff. That I want to say, the day of the fourteenth. In, in broad daylight, no ceasefire, no, no flag of truce, you know, no white flag, nothing, but just in broad daylight, he started walking out and giving water and sustenance to the wounded. A Confederate, a Confederate soldier, Richard Kirkland, gave, uh, gave, gave aid to Union wounded. Um, there's, a statue, there's a statue for him at some monument. I forget, I, I, I forgot the name of the monument. But uh, yeah, man, I saw that. I was like, yo, my boy, my, my, my boy lives there. So, so and a, a classmate who's in my unit, he's also in my class here. He's in my DC guard unit. He's like, yeah, I live about 30 minutes from Fredericksburg. I live in the county. I've been to that monument. I've been to that national park. I've been to Fredericksburg, blah, 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 blah. I was like, yeah, um, my boy lives there. So they took down a Confederate, another Confederate monument, 
that like memorialized some Confederate leader. They, they took that down. Totally agree with that. Richmond got, a, got rid of a bunch of, you know, like in the last six months, you know, over the summer, they were just tearing down all these Confederate leader monuments. But you told me that they ripped up that slave auction stone in the ground. Yeah, they did. And I don't think they should have done that. They put that in a museum, actually. Did they put that in a museum? Yeah. In town? I believe so. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not positive where they put it in, but they, they put it in a museum. Because, from, from, because, because the Confederates were traitors, okay? All these Confederate leaders are traitors to the United States because the United States was the Union. The Confederates wanted to be something different. They shot first. They betrayed the United States. That's why we're the Union. They're the Confederates. Mm -hmm. And they're traitors. All, all, Confederate, all Confederate monuments and memorials should be torn down. Can't agree with you more. Absolutely. That, that, that auction block, that slavery auction block should have stayed where it was. Because what that serves is a reminder of what to never do again. It's a blemish. It's a scar. Right? Yeah. It's a scar on our society that should always stay there and remain there and always look at that like never again. <clears throat> they, made a mon they made a monument to uh, the World Trade Center, you know, and they built up this bigger thing, but there's always that monument. Always remember, always remember what happened on 9-11 and the same with this auction block. Always remember what happened. But the fact that it, uh, but, 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 now, but now learning now that, okay, so this thing is in a museum. Well, they were, they were fighting to get rid of it um, from that block since 2017. So there were probably did, just a pain to ask to walk around. With. Well, there were protests going on for three years on trying to get rid of that auction block. So, and plus all this, all this uh, tension that's been built up over the last couple of years. You know, that's really like catapulted it. Yeah. You know, for them to remove it. So, like the in the the Black Lives Matter organization really pushed. For it to be removed, so yeah. that, that's oh, pretty. That's that's pretty much what happened. And also, they took down the Confederate flag that sits on ninety five. Good. So they they took that down. Good. You, I mean, the Confederate flag is a symbol of slavery. There's no working around that. The Confederate flag is a symbol of pro slavery. There's no two ways. Of, there, there, there's no two ways around it. It's not, I mean, I mean, you can say freedom of speech this and freedom of speech that. Sure, there's a little bit of aspects of that, but if you're, if you're throwing that Confederate flag around, you're essentially saying you're pro-slavery. Yeah. People. It's that simple. So, not to get, uh, not to get too fucking deep, man. But, you know, any unique fire stories? I mean, saving lives, putting out fires? No, just... Uh, or ripping off window bars? <laughs> no, just, you know, just serving the community and helping people out, you know, and providing service to the community. You know, that's what we're doing. So they had, like, most of downtown, like, boarded up and stuff getting prepared for riots and so forth and protesters. So we're just here, you know, serve and protect, you know, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Is that the fire department's phrase now? Serve, to serve and protect? <laughs> that's phrasing the fire department's? <laughs> to serve and protect? Well, the service the service to community, you know. Good for you, man. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. So, uh, 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 what's, what's, what's today? Today's the fourth. 
Yeah. Well, let's do a little quick catch up, man. A- 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 any uh, a- any good Halloween shit that you like? Like, name one series, one franchise, or you know, like a like a couple of Halloween movies that you rewatched and just loved again, or something. yeah, I rewatched uh, People Under the Stairs. Oh yes, a, dude. A Wes Craven classic. Yes, dude. Like that movie is like to- that movie is like totally underrated. Dude, like one of-, one of his best movies ever, and it's so underrated. It is. It doesn't give enough credit, bro. <laughs> when the fucking when the fucking kid in the wall shot his dad in the head with a fucking slingshot, he was like, and, then, and he just fucking went through. <laughs> best fucking scene ever, dude. That was like that. That movie is yeah. I don't mean to cut you off, but yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that was a good movie. I saw the movie Clown. Have you seen that movie? It's a horror movie. The one where his... Uh, e- e- Eli, Eli, Eli Roth. Okay. Where he puts on the clown suit and he can't take it off. Can't take it off. And he turns into like a demon clown. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there's that. That's a, that's a bizarre movie. And then what is what is uh, what is it? Terrifier. So uh, there's a there, there's this clown movie. I it's so it's so troubling this movie. So there's a there's there's Terrifier one and two. I think it's called Terrifier, and it's about this fucking yeah Terrifier, and it's about a clown, you know, like a murdering clown and all that shit. And bruh. I'm telling you, man. Fuck this movie, dude. So there's a movie. So so it's about like a clown, and he's like a serial killer. I don't know if he's a demon. I've only I've only gotten like halfway through the shit, and uh, terrifier. It's about a it's about an evil clown or a demon clown or a serial killer clown. And, and look at this. Look at that dude. <laughs> hey, hey. This guy this guy's in the dark. This guy this guy's always in the dark. He's just lost in the sauce for the rest of his life, man. Oh, I'm deep in the sauce. Deep in it. Look at Nelson. Where is there, man? Where the hell are you, Nelson? He's in pain. <laughs> I'm, I still got to promote the brand, whether I'm in jail, whether I'm free, man, I'm still podcasting, baby. I'm still putting shit out there. Dude, Durko looks like he's in the Blair Witch Project, man. Like he's about to get murdered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Drinking excess out in the woods with the Blair Witch. Yeah, man. God, bro, where are you? <laughs> We are outside of uh, Moe's Pub and Grill. We just had a couple. Uh, actually, we didn't drink any alcohol because I'm not in the car right now. Well, we had a great night, man. It was good. A little light, Let night out. So you're so, so you're on the borderline of Canada. We're up there by Canada. We're up in uh, upstate New York in the oh, Adirondacks. Canada. Where we breed lots of wrestlers. <laughs> I so it's, a hit man hard. So you're like a semi Canuck. <laughs> oh no, we are full, fully, full, full Canuck. Everyone's are you on Canadian accent. ground right now? No, because that would be not COVID. They're not going to let you on the, across the border. Man. Sure they can. Just just show up. Just show up, man. Like, hey, bro. Hey, bro. Just let me cross, man. Like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Look, if I walk over there by accident, they'll end up cavity searching me, and uh, nobody wants. Nobody hey, wants to cavity. So, well, maybe maybe some of us want a cavity. Search. So, fun fact here, boys. Fun fact here, boys. <clears throat> Did you know that there is a tiny little bit of Canada that is south, south. Of Detroit? Of Detroit. What the hell? Daddy Nelson? What's the story there? <laughs> Look at the map. I can't do a screen share, man. We're, we're not live and direct, so I can't. I don't have all my fucking super high tech gear. Yeah. Here. You're podcasting from the inside of a latrine right now. I'm a- what the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> So if you look at the US map, dude, there's a little lip. There's a little slip of Canuck that falls south of Detroit. 
Come on, man, pull it up. I know you can. You got all the technology right in front of you at your disposal. No, I'm, I do, but I'm just fucking lazy. I'm not doing it tonight. It's not. It, it, this is going to be a, a raw, you know, Family Squad raw episode. You know? I hear it. I love it. But yeah, um, anyway. Canuck, man. What, so what bar did you go to? You got to promote all these brands. What bar? Yeah, what, what bar did you get kicked out of? <laughs> Uh, well, dude, there's like, there's like four bars. We're like in the tiniest, tiniest, smallest of towns. And like everything is like closed and like it's even worse because of COVID. So it's been hard finding places to go. But like the one place we went to, oh yeah, we can, we can, we can show the uh, Moe's, Moe's Pub Bar and Grill right here. Give you a close up of the place. Is that like the Mo, Moe's Pub? Those from the Simpsons, bro. <laughs> you got party gumbo in that joint. <laughs> Light up the Mo's. There's like three drunks in that joint. <laughs> you know it. You know it. I'm gonna drive right up in here. Like drive through the front front lobby. And you got that one guy Mo is uh, in the Simpsons that doesn't say a word. He's just like. A spectator in The Simpsons. Yes, I'm not sure, man. Which one, Nelson? Can you comment on which character that is? Because I don't have a clue. Mo, Mo, the bartender from The Simpsons. So Bart Simpson calls him. <laughs> Bart. So Bart Simpson yeah, calls dude. him like 24/7 and is like. Uh... Hold on one second. I'm, I'm going to look this up, man. I'm going to look this up for you guys. This is look it up. <laughs> look it up. Uh, yeah, Chris, you vote today? You went and got your uh, your vote on? You sent no. Email? No, I, d- I did not. <laughs> you did not vote? <laughs> Biggest voter turnout in history in tech ball. No vote. <laughs> I voted for Glenn Nelson, man. <laughs> The best podcaster on the planet. <laughs> dude, I voted like a month ago, dude. There's a thing called an absentee ballot, and there's a thing yeah. this year because of COVID. They went hardcore on the mail-in ballot. That's I what all the that's, that's what all the sixty-five year old like fucking month ago. Yeah, because you weren't gonna go out there and go to a voting booth and touch a fucking button and press right. it and get the COVID. Nope. Not, Not worth it. That. Nope. Not gonna do that. Not worth it. So you're at so you're at Moe's. So what you need to do right now is you need to call Moe's. You just say, listen, hey Mo, I'm looking for Tinkle. <laughs> Ivana, her uh, her first name's Ivana. <laughs> or that one you guys see more butts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking, for, uh, I'm looking for Seymour I'm Butts. For, hey, hey, Mo, I'm looking for my boy, Kaholic. His last name's Kaholic. First name, Al. Oh, my God. Yeah, man, that's where I'm at right now. That is, I'm, in, I'm in an episode of The Simpsons. That's exactly what's happening. So true. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, Mo. Hey, Mo. I'm looking for my buddy. His last name is Rock. Roch, yeah. First name Mike. Mike Roch. <laughs> Mike Roch. <laughs> Mike Crotch, God damn it. Yeah, that shit was so. Classic. Anyway, gotta call him up. Gotta call up Moe's, man. Gotta call up Moe's. Yeah, man. It was good. It's a good time. So, did you drive all the way from Maryland to the borderline of? Canada. No, he moved in, man. He moved in there like already, dude. So you're living there. My boys are in love. So did you did... it's morning and I'm waking up on the Canadian border <laughs> with the love of my life. Uh, it was it was a nine hour trip broken up into five and then and another... when I wake up on the Canadian border with the love of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and I wake up on the Canadian border with the love of my life. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, dude, your next move should be Canada, bro. You're already like right there, man. 
Dude, I could walk in. Literally, I could walk in right now. I could just walk You're in. You're like, I, I'm, in, I'm in Canada, eh? <laughs> This is Canada, eh? <laughs> The election's oh, going to shit. I'm just going to walk to Canada. Hey, waking up on the Canadian border with the love of my life. Hey. Glenn has been, Glenn has been cooped up for like eight days. Losing his goddamn Morning. mind, drinking monster after monster. He's drinking monster zero, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't even count. <laughs> That's like drinking a non-alcoholic beer. <laughs> Makes no sense C4 whatsoever. D4 and vodka. Excess and vodka. Yeah, man. Oh, my God, that really does. You really should try it, dude. You actually got some really good dude like I recommend fucking started. it don't Solid. fucking tell me don't tell me shit about i started oh yeah no you did start it actually i had no idea yo that shit is so good i did not know how good it was Except so good Wake Chris. up with my love of my life after excess in vodka hey. <laughs> Where, where'd he go this fucking guy. I'm right here. Appearance. I'm right here. I'm camera right here. On, camera off. Camera on. Camera off. All I see is where Brent meets culture. Right. right. Oh, he's oh, in the middle of a fucking can up. It's like video Dude, we got. We got. Video goes out. We got like a 40 minute drive here. Don't worry. A 40 minute drive. Forty minute drive to what? <laughs> to most. <laughs> Dude, don't tell me you drove 40 minutes to find a bar. The place, the place. No, 40 minutes to leave the, the bar. Oh, shit. Now, the investment property they're looking at investing in. And it's most. Fun. It's like 40, 40, 40, yeah, they're, 40. They're out 40, here in this 40, town. 40, 40, huh? 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. What are you going? Oh. Um, What the fuck is he doing? This is the I'm worst. going home. This is the worst show. <laughs> this should be on the outtakes. <laughs> hey Mo, hey Mo, can you can you call my buddy Strap? His last name Strap. First name Jacques. Hey Mo, my buddy, my buddy, my buddy uh, Jacques. <laughs> A buddy of mine. A buddy of mine. <laughs> He's French. Last name Strap, first name Jacques. It's a Jacques Strap here, it's a Jacques Strap. Are you driving Nelson, alone? Nelson? No, I'm driving in the dark. Are you driving I'm alone? In, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not driving alone. I've got a drunk passenger as well. In the passenger seat? I've got a sober, I've got a sober passenger as well. I got a sober passenger in the back seat of my car. Uh, <laughs> I'm driving the most and driving the Canadian of the Jersey all, all in the day. <laughs> so how, how long are you going to be out at that joint? I'm going to be there for a week. And then you go back to what, Jersey? Dude, in a, week, back to... in a week, you could have locked in like 15 <clears throat> investment properties just in Virginia. Dude, I could have hooked them up with like 14 investment properties in Baltimore City. In a week. In a week. I'm spending a week to lock in just one investment property. Dude, you could have got like four properties. I'm drinking excess and vodka with a drunk passenger. I could have got you four properties for 120000 I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. That sounds bogus to me, fuck boy. That sounds bogus, bro. Okay, cool story, yeah. Cool story, bro. Cool story, bro. God damn, man, that's a nine hour drive. Holy it smokes. Is. It is. It's a long ass drive, bro. So are we gonna get this? Uh, are we gonna get this little uh, virtual tour of the crib or no? Nope. 
we uh, get there, absolutely. I mean, that's going to take 40 minutes. It's going to take about 40 minutes. That's a little bit of a drive. This is the worst podcast with the worst guests ever. <laughs> I don't know why I bother with you two. Chris, you're kind of okay, but, but Durko. The worst. It's no worst. Strictly love. It is strictly emotional with you. I swear to God. There is no other reason for this. So you plan to move out there permanently? No, dude. Yep. Jersey. Jerko's moving to Jersey. No, I thought you're moving to the Canadian border. No, he's investing in property on the Canadian border. He's moving to Jersey for the love of his life. <laughs> he's moving to Jersey for the, for the love of his life. Hey. <laughs> Where did he go? Dude, he's trying to find a white castle. <laughs> he's trying to figure out how to mute me. He's trying to figure out how to mute me. He's like, oh, no, 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 I don't want that. I don't want that out there, yo. Dude, you're never going to find the white castle, bro. What's going on with this show, dude? This is the worst show. This is the worst fucking podcast ever. All right, man. Fuck this show, man. Hey, so uh, moving on to real business. I uh, season three of Sinister Infinite promo is going to be coming out in like the next couple of months. Script's finalized. Script schedule's finalized. I'm gonna send it to you yeah, guys. We're gonna get this shit man. locked in. We're gonna have fun doing it. Yeah, not, yeah. Uh, I haven't sent you guys the script yet. I will. I will asap. Would you say, Durko? Yeah. Everything's 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 everything, gentlemen. Everything's everything. Everything is everything. You should have that as your new slogan. Everything is everything. Everything's everything. Branded right. entrepreneur. <laughs> everything is right. buy, sell, flip. <laughs> <laughs> Dirk, 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 Dirk is finally, everything. he's finally making the plunge. Biden, Trump, everything is everything. Everything is everything on the Canadian border. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Hey, who do you think will win in a fight, Joe Biden or, or Donald Trump? Trump. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, would he, what, is, what would his signature move be? <laughs> I mean, uh, probably just like weight. <laughs> he put his weight into it. I mean, let's let's be honest here. Who's going to win in a fight, or who's going to be a better president? Who would win in a fight? Probably Trump. What do you think? He'd just choke him out. No. <laughs> he would fight dirty and, and he'd put his weight into it. <laughs> he'd strong arm him? <laughs> he wouldn't strong arm him. He would just fight dirty and like he would just do all the shitty shit that all the shitty kids did in high school in, in like in middle school and high school. Uh, but uh, I would pay, uh, according to what I'm looking at Trump might win in a fight, but Trump ain't winning in the fucking polls right now. Dude, it would be like grumpy old men if they fought. <laughs> Trump just gonna put his weight into the fight. <laughs> hey. What is Jerko doing? This is why I don't. This is why I never want Jerko on the podcast. This is why I want to excommunicate Jerko from Zombie Squad. I want to. <laughs> you want to you want to excommunicate <laughs> excommunicate Durko. <laughs> Durko is like that. Durko is like that brother. Oh, he's off the call. <laughs> <laughs> he just hung up, dude. This fucking guy. Oh my god. Un unprofessional, man. Un totally. Uh -oh. <laughs> totally, totally unprofessional, man. 
Yeah, pretty much, man. So anyway, back to real business. Yeah, there's Terrifier. And then Hulu came out with this thing called, uh, I, think, I think they call it, what did they call it? They called it like Hulu, Hulu Snacks or something like that. I wish I could remember what the fuck it was called. But, uh, Anyway, um, it was like these, it, it, Hulu had this series on there of three minute horror shorts. All of them fucking phenomenal. Three minutes. They had to fit within like two and a half to three and a half minute short films. And it was just like these sh really dope short films, essentially, on Hulu. So that's what I watched for Halloween. I watched that. I watched. And then, um, obviously, of course, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which, you know, you're a star of. Sort of. Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. released uh, season seven on Netflix. I'm sorry, I've been watching that. That's all I got, man. Fuck, dude. I've been so busy with this school right now. I'm Zonka Doodles, man. So today we had a short day today and we're off tomorrow. And we got back to the barracks, I want to say. We got back to the latrine, as Durko said, at about 12. And I think I fell asleep around 12. And I woke up at 2.30. I've never taken such a hard two and a half hours. It was like that. I put my head down and two and a half hours gone. So you have you run in the morning too? Like PT in the morning? Not every morning. Not every morning? Some, uh, most mornings, but not every morning. But uh, we do PT on our own. The PT is not mandatory, only because we're at a certain level of rank that they got us focusing on like... <clears throat> Together, operation uh, op orders and uh -huh. and briefs and and us conducting trainings. Yeah. So it's not like they're putting us through PC every morning. <sighs> we do it. There's like a whole slew of us that do it on our own. Um, but, but, they get, but they got a gym over there. You can lift and stuff, right? Yeah. But I have my resistance bands. So I'm in my barracks just by my bed doing my resistance bands. I got my perfect push-ups. So we all work out just in the fucking barracks. We don't we we haven't wasted our time leaving because we are so inundated with classwork, preparation, training. It's like we get out of class, we go to we go to lunch and then we come right back to class. Now hold on. We wake up, we go straight to breakfast, straight to class, straight to lunch, straight to class, straight to dinner, straight back to the barracks. So we might work out every night. Yeah. But it's like, I, I even drove here, so I have my own car here. I'm, oh, not, you... I'm not fucking driving. Oh, I thought you flew there. No, I opted to drive because of COVID. But thank God I did that because I have my own car. I can get around. I can do whatever the fuck I want to do, essentially, sort of. I have way more freedoms because I have my own car. Yeah. yeah. How long a drive was that? Ten hours. Jesus. I called you, and then I saw you texting me um, later on like you were busy. I talked to your brother for like an hour. I talked to my brother for an hour. I talked to my mom for an hour. I talked to Don for like 30 minutes. Durko, you know, you know how I do. I never fucking call you guys on a regular phone call unless I'm in the fucking car and I need, I, I get, I'm, I'm trying to burn time. I was on the, I was on the road. And so the, and so the wife was insistent that I drive there for no more than seven hours and get a hotel. So I left the day, I left the day before, drove for about seven hours, got a hotel, got a motel. And then got on the road again, another four hours, you know, traffic stops, all that shit. Um, got to base, checked in, 
logged in, all that stuff, moved into barracks. And that was October 2nd. So October 21st, I left. Stayed at a hotel October 22nd, finally got here. Checked in, yada, yada, yada. I've been here ever since. <laughs> So, yeah, man. Making the best out of this contract I can. So, you're going to do a, a full military retirement? Or what are your plans? Long, 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 longevity. So, again, how am I going to word this? It depends on who's the boss. It depends on who's the boss. It depends on the length of, co of the contract. But right now, I'm 50 50. Yeah. You have to see how it plays out. See how it plays out. I mean, fuck, dude. I mean, I'm the fuck I want, man. We still don't have a fucking president yet. This is the first. This is the first time this has ever happened. Where I remember every, I remember every election we knew the the morning the morning after. COVID, man, just blame COVID. 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 <laughs> COVID. COVID. Everyone, everyone, fucking, you know, denies COVID and talks shit about COVID until like. Oh. <laughs> Until the fucking excuse works for him. <laughs> oh, oh, I can't get I can't get all the ballots in in time. Hey, <laughs> you haven't walked around with a fucking mask all fucking years. All of a sudden, COVID's an issue. <laughs> You're the one fucking screaming at people. Oh, COVID's a fucking conspiracy. Well, where are all the fucking ballots you were supposed to fucking count? Where's all the mail you were supposed to go up? COVID. Uh, uh, COVID. Since when, <laughs> motherfucker? Since fucking day one, I was like, I ain't fucking going nowhere. Hey, COVID is not affecting Durko, man. He's jumping around yeah, doing... I met, bro, I, met, I met Moe's in fucking Canada. I met Moe's Bar and Grill in fucking Canada. It took us four hours to get here. It took us 40 fucking minutes to drive out here. I was at fucking Moe's Bar and Grill sipping syrup and fucking maple syrup and fucking Jack Daniels over here in Canock. Looking at some property. Oh, I'm going to invest in fucking property. What about COVID? Hey, COVID! <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it doesn't exist. <laughs> it's like Sasquatch. It doesn't exist. <laughs> I went to Malibu over the summer and I'm in Canada. What, what about COVID? COVID. <laughs> I, I asked him, I said, dude, what happened with LA and, and Colorado? He goes, man, prices are skyrocketing, bro. Bro, I'm going to fucking LA, dude. <laughs> Fucking airline tickets are like fifty fucking dollars. Come on, man. <laughs> That's because he flew Spirit and he had a gym, everything, oh, in a and a laptop bag. He flew Spirit, the shit was like twenty five fucking dollars round the trip. <laughs> Dude, Tucker should be sponsored by by Spirit Airlines. <laughs> no shit. Excess. Lose the light. Artistry, Spirit Airlines, <laughs> Airbnb, Canada, Moe's Bar and Grill. I guarantee you they're not wearing masks up in that joint. Oh, fuck no, dude. It's a whole fucking different universe up there, dude. So that's a Deadpool picture, a Deadpool painting. Who drew that? Some dude uh, in Ocean City. Okay. Just a street artist, dude. He was phenomenal, man. He did like phenomenal. a lot of he did a lot of dope drawing. So he painted that picture in about 10, 15 minutes, maybe less. So, maybe about ten minutes. He painted that. 
Like you watched them, you watched them paint it, and then you bought it. Yeah, he spray painted the joint. Did you request Deadpool? Or? He set them aside, like he did a whole bunch of of different drawings um, with the airbrush, and then he set them aside. And I saw the Deadpool one. It made me think of you with the Deadpool. And I was like, oh, dude, I gotta, I gotta get the Deadpool picture, you know? Yeah. I, I wish I knew that was on your wall. I'd grab my fucking. Um... You know, my, my wife, she loves when I wear tank tops. Absolutely loves all my tank tops. But, needless to say, uh, I have a Deadpool tank top that uh, I custom made. I'm not surprised. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, what's, what's, what, what's next on the agenda? Um, <clears throat> start recording, man. That's it. I got some tracks I want to put some vocals to, so I just got a new... A new mic booth, brand new microphone. So that's what's on the agenda next. You know, start record recording some lyrics. You know, it's been a while. So. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Uh, for me, it's just graduate out of this fucking class. Get out of this fucking class. Get back home. See the baby boy. Get right back in the design broadcast as it was originally intended. Get back in the live streaming, uh, get back in the Sinister and Roads, um, all the other productions as well. I gotta start editing and writing. I gotta start editing everything that's already in the can. I gotta start writing anything I need to start writing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you heard it here. Uh, Durko fucking disappeared. So he's got uh, Patience the Podcast, forces a uh, member of Grimes Podcast. And Zombie Squad in general. Um, my wound management. Uh, Techfall. Um, Zombie Squad 211 on everything. On oh, everything. Of course, uh, Lost Prevention, uh, Techfall, uh, Technological, and myself, Zombie Squad cast, Zombie Squad, Dead on Pictures, Sinister and Rogues. Uh, all the links are in the description below. Thanks for watching. I, hope you, I certainly hope you've learned the time and privilege of your viewership. And I know these two knuckles, knuckleheads have. But until next time, you know what to do. Peace out.